so i'm going to take you through a series of how we can be able to design this model so we're going to design it and to be able to do documentation for the same so that once you're done with this series you can be able to sell the plan to a client so the series will take something close to i think an hour and 30 minutes but what we're going to do is to divide it into small parts so that uh, yeah the essence is to avoid people who download the video because i want you to watch this video on youtube so that you can give me the watch time and stuff i don't want you to download this video i have other series before and i really get annoyed when somebody reaches out to me and they're like they're showing me they have downloaded all the videos i have your videos and it's more like they want me to tell them thank you for watching my content which really doesn't make sense because you have downloaded everything and you have when you download it i don't get anything man so yeah so this is the model and we had done some visualization on it too i think we shall be able to so we started to draw it on this new page and the first thing that you have to do is to you have to do the settings for the wall so i'm going to double click on the wall tool and i want to use this type of wall eh? the first one and it's called uh, structure basic composite complex profile you can either do structure or you can choose to do masonry block structure let me use masonry you can do any type of wall you want and here i want it to be 200 mm not 300 and so far so good we are good to go so you can change this one now or you can do the changes later but the most important thing is the geometry you want geometry and positioning uh that's the most important part at this time then for the model you can come at it later so i click ok and now i have my wall so i can start by drawing now i'm going to use the center line here when you go to reference line i want to use the center and i prefer the center it is easy for me so i just draw any wall any length here and i can escape so i'm clicking on it and we're going to drag downwards the corridor was uh, 1200 mm so we're going to do 1400 so what i'm doing 1400 is i want the distance between my walls to be 1200 this one is 1200 so when you do 1400 remember our wall was um, 200 so when you take it to the, from the center you have 100 here and you have another 100 here so you just add on the thickness of the wall okay 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 so once i do that now i can do i can do the same for the i can do the same for the bedroom so now i can do the same for this i want it to go by control shift plus d so what i'm doing is i'm dragging a copy so to drag a copy you press control shift plus d then i can drag this one to let's say 3800 so from here to here it will be the distance for my sitting room so the sitting for this this unit was just um more like an sq for a person so it was pretty small not that big okay then i'm going to drag this one again Control shift plus d i want it to go to it should be 500 500 so if i want 500 i should do 700 yeah then we can go to so we're done with so this one was our corridor this is where we love our bedrooms then we are going to have a design here i don't know if i have the pictures i show you i saw you i saw you you see you see you see 
so if you look at this picture 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 you can see that there is this extrusion like this side so that's an addition additional part that we are adding on and yeah so this is that part that we are adding on now now i can come to this side and be able to do the bedrooms but and i will just continue to drag these lines this way so i will pick i'm going to pick this one control shift plus d then i will drag it again by let's do for 100 then i'm picking the same and dragging it again by let's do 1500 so that our bathroom is something like 1300 but you don't want to have a bathroom that is 1300 because then you will have challenges with tiles usually you want 1200 or 1500 so that when you're doing the tiles they fit if you have 300 mm tiles they will fit in perfectly perfect too but for this one let's just do 1300 1300 or 1500 you 1500 will give us 1500 minus 200 will give us 1300 which is not cool 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 so now i can click on this and press ctrl shift plus d and i'm going to drag it just any point so in this case let me put it here and i want to rotate it so ctrl e and i want to rotate it rotate it rotate it rotate it then i'm going so after rotating it we now want to go this way so so you have to know the dimensions when you're going the other way and if you're doing your own design how you come up with dimensions depends on the size of your plot and maybe the amount of money that your client has then we usually have something in the billing code to do with uh, like maybe if you have a certain specific land how much of it should you build on it you're not supposed to build on the all so it is, it is usually determined by maybe where you come from the local building code but the most important part is you is you're the one who usually determines like which dimensions should i go with here because you know the dimensions you don't want to go to the ground and once you start implementing you find that you're drawing your building is either, is either too small or too huge so the first one i'm going to do the master bedroom and let's do that one let's do that 300 so it remain with that 100 okay then the next we're going to the sitting room sitting room so for the sitting room we're going to begin on this control shift plus d and we're going to do 55 let's do 57 700 so that the distance between walls in the sitting room will be 5500 the next we're going to have a tiny kitchen here so for the kitchen we are clicking on this and control shift plus d let's do 2200 2400 so that the kitchen is 2200 so you can see that most of my dimensions are not cool but it's because this was just a pretty small thing that was uh, a servant quarter then we have a bedroom that we are going to do control shift plus d then let's do 2700 then the final part then the final we're going to do 32 let's do 3400 okay 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 so now we can be able to delete some parts so that we make it clear it looks very dirty and i know that by this point maybe some people are somehow confused so you click on this line 
and I'm holding on control then you click on what you don't want it's called cutting Kata, kata, kata usio gupi so we 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 could have even we needed to cut it from here then we click on this and we can cut this extra waste waste ni uchafu yani so i'm just clicking and yeah so then here when we come to the living room so you re- you remember here when i was seeing let's delete let's click on this first and clean here you want to have something that looks clean this one we don't want it this one we don't want it you click on this you don't want this and 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 you click on this you don't want this you don't want this but you need this one and this did you did you click on this you don't want this one you click on this you don't want this one okay so right now we have something that looks kind of uh, we are not bad <laughs> then then we want to have we will have ever under this point So we still have some small design here then we're going to have a veranda i think let me do this design here first before i come to this other side veranda approach so i basically want 600 mm from from this point i want 600 mm sorry 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 600 mm Okay, so I'm clicking on this with control shift plus D and we're going to move it to here which is 600 mm so we can do away with uh, this and you can do away with this you can do away with this so again on this other end or you can just mirror this one if you know you know if you don't you don't so how do I mirror it I can draw a line here to here and it will have a center line so I can click on this and control shift plus M and do a mirror copy 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 then I delete this one and click on these and these click on this and the whole shift to click on this then you delete this one so far so good so good so far so far so good then this one let's use it let, let me do a toilet here so you can do a toilet of 1800 okay let's do it in 100 so we click control shift plus d and we pull this on to here which is 2000 then we do away with that uh uh-huh. so we shall have a door here we shall have a wardrobe here we shall have a door here so here because like the major issue with this design was the lighting so this is the perimeter wall and also this is the perimeter wall so there's no way you can have your window on this side and also on this side so here only this one supplying light to the living room is kind of small so we have to make a design here so that we can have a corner window here so a corner window and it's from it's from floor to ceiling window so that it really like the lighting in the room will be let's say enough you won't have to use uh, a bulb during the day so i think let me show you in a picture 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 is it visible 
visible not if you can see on this shot you can see this wall is not we have a corner window here so that's what you want to do to do to do control shift plus d so let me pick it here and do 1400 so that i can have 1200 let me do the confirmation so yes 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 1200 yes 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 so we click on this and we can do away with this we click on this we can do away with this we click on this and we hold shift we click on this you can do away with this okay 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 so here we shall come like this and this and this and that then we can have a veranda so for the veranda at this moment i'm just going to draw it using a line but we shall be able to use a wall later on in the game so for, for the veranda let's just use a line for now so from here you have 70 30 then you come like this okay then from here you have let's begin from here you have a 1500 then you come like this and they meet addition do then let's suspend groups and cut this section out so this will be our round round we can even do it with a wall there's no issue i think let me do it with a wall so that we are done with the walls so i'm going to do it use using the outside let's see outside let's use inside face 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 so so far so good we are done to that point fuck I made a little a little, little, little mistake so this one i need it to be from this from this here and so this one we're gonna drop it a little to here okay so to that point i think you're done with all the walls all the walls all the shenanigans brought in by the walls so let's do the second part mm, this video is already too long 23 minutes but of course it will be shorter because there's some part where i went to drink water or i mean i went to take my tea so and i left it running so once i delete that part it will be shorter but in the meantime see you in the next one so the next one we're going to do let's try to do windows and that design that was here and also add another design kind of here and we can do the window then maybe we shall draw the slab for the floor plan also the windows here 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 and there so see you in the next one stay safe and of course don't forget to give this video a like